Robin. Anyone ever tell you you have a nice butt? Save it, you shameless harpy. I don't know why Star puts up with you. Ah. Wait, where is she? What did you do to her? Titans, dig up the yard! Ah. Oh, calm down, Mr. Butt. She's fine. She's just in jail serving out my sentence. This is why you showed up in the first place. Unbelievable. She trusted you. Dibs on Star's room! She's got the best room and a bidet. What is that thing? Whatever it is, it can't be good. Maybe B-Girl can handle it. What are your powers again? I can shrink to the size of a bee. Wow, how useful. Blackfire. <gasps> Blackfire, you the cave! You see, Raven, she has come for the sisterly bonding, as I said. I'm pretty sure she's here to take over the planet. Oh, no, 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 no. She is here for the party of the slumber. No, Star, she's right. I'm here for the planet. This device will open a portal for my army, which will conquer your pathetic world. Oh, ho, ho. This must be the prank, and oh my, woo, you have gotten me. How could you do this to her? Oh, cut me some slack, Mr. Butt. No one ever taught me how to be a good sister. Then get yourself a backpack, and a spiral notebook, and a number two pencil, and a pen, and a math book, and a protractor, and a scientific calculator, with a juice box and some healthy snacks, and an apple for your teacher, cause we're gonna take you to school! Sister school, yo! Now listen, so I can teach you how to listen. Huh? Whatever. The keys to active listening are eye contact and hand holding. Allow me to demonstrate. Go on, Beast Boy. I'm listening. My problem is I'm just too sweet and funny, and girls just take advantage. I hear your pain. You have to talk it out before you can walk it out. Now you try. Go on, Beast Boy. I'm listening. Sometimes I think I'll never find love. <laughs> Shut up and be a man! <laughs> My <laughs> it's not a prank. I've been planning this invasion for a long time. So you truly do not wish to join of the slumbering party and bond as the sisters? I hate bonding. <laughs> I've got something more fun planned anyway. She's right. This does look like fun. Party time. Okay, lesson two. <sighs> Hugging. Oh. Terrible effort. Oh. Again! No, no, no! I'll show you myself. Arms out wide. Come in tight, but not too tight. Pats on the back. Optional. Yes, that's much, much better. Oh, this feels good. Oh, uh, no, no. Wrong kind of hug. Ah! Step away! Surrender, Blackfire. You're no match for us. <laughs> Did you really think it would be that easy? I'm here to take over the world. You wanted to bond, little sister? Then let's do some bonding! What are you doing? Oh, sister, I am here to tell you how you have made me feel all these gamma years. <laughs> you look ridiculous. You look ridiculous. Stick to the script. What Starfire meant to say is do not be the Glorpner, friend. Glorpner? That's not even a word, genius. Don't you make me come over there. I told you this wouldn't work. Stay in character. What the Starfires are trying to say is, <clears throat> when you were in 
the trouble. Who did you turn to? Oh, sister, when you... I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> Your butt looks fantastic in that skirt. Ah! I have no idea how Starfire could still love you after all you put her through. No! She loves me? Probably the only person in the universe who does. Sorry, I couldn't make it to your party. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Looks good. I'm so glad you like it. Uh, you think you could give me a makeover? I hate my look. I hear somebody who's not happy with himself, but who should be, because he's great. Aw, thanks. So, Robin. Please, call me Mr. Butt. You've earned it. I wish you were my sister, sister. Starfire's gonna be so proud of you. Hey, she's back! Star? <laughs> Mr. Butt, are you okay? I'm here for the her. Blackfire, remember the lessons! <laughs> Can we talk about your sister later? We kind of have an alien invasion to deal with. She did not come to my the party, so I will not go to her the invasion! Star, we have to stop her before she activates that device! Good news, that's no longer an issue. This looks really bad. Eh, I always kind of wanted to see the world end. A giant beam of light in the sky? Really? There's always one of these in every supervillain plot. Yeah, you'd think they'd switch it up once in a while. Be original! I kinda like it. It's like a big disco ball. <laughs> now the real party can start. Starfire, sweetie, you have never done anything for me except use me and trick me and get me into trouble. I hear you, and I'm sorry. It's too late for the sorry. time. I shouldn't have taken it, and I shouldn't have kept it. Starfire, I'm sorry. You really have changed. Yes, 
I have. Well, so have I. So what happened? We worked things out. 